Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 7th to January 13th, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for Leo star sign and uh, therefore is going to resonate in a different way for every single different Leo. So for that reason in this video I will uh, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread and give you a few examples on top of that. But at the end it is, uh, you know, it falls to you to kind of align uh, those explanations of mine with your with your personal situation. Now, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me, just like I'm doing for the examples in this video, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there, you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So, uh, Leo, the first card. The Hermit, it is the topic of your week, followed by the core of the situation here, which is the Devil card. Then we do have the challenges which are causing predicaments, uh, that will be the Eight of Pentacles. And the last one, that is going to be the Magician, which is the um, Guidance the Tarot is offering to you. And by its own nature here, um, as the Hermit and the Devil synergize with one another, uh, this uh, this week itself is going to be uh, most likely a week of preparation and uh, deep contemplations upon what kind of a direction from now on you have to take regarding either your career or regarding or regarding either your relationship. Even though we have mostly earthly cards here, the hermit is also connected with emotions. So you have to uh, so you will have to contemplate upon your emotions and what will make you feel better as you take on as a direction moving on forward. So it's kind of like when you do have something in mind to do, uh, you are most likely going to make a withdrawal throughout the week just so you can uh, find, uh, find out how you feel about the whole situation and should you take on it or should you not take on it. Now uh, this is going to be as well a, an enhanced tarot reading so we are going to draw an additional card per position and with the Hermit we have the Knights of Cups so that is uh, we are going to, excuse me, we are going to uh, indulge deeper with every single position on its own. So, uh, the topic of the week here obviously does regard emotions, just like I predicted before I draw the card here. And the Knights of Cups plays a role, if not of a person, of a the one that holds holds the dream of their heart, if you want to say it that way, in front of themselves. And they are following those dreams no matter what. In a combination with the Hermit, that is most likely searching away how you can materialize a dream of yours. And once again, that is just searching away. It doesn't mean that the way yet is to be established. Most likely, it is because there will be a lack of support from other people, because Hermit is notorious. The Hermit is notorious for that kind of property, that even though that new part or new direction of yours is something that very well suits you. It is in intelligently discovered and uh, taken with a great portion of wisdom. There are little people there to applaud you for it. So it kind of involves as well, you know, some uh, some courage on your behalf to really take on that endeavor uh, on your own and not count on anybody else's support. But however, if that is a, a person then, uh, and we really count that as a, a relationship reading here, the Knight of Cups could be the one. Especially with the Hermit card, it, at the very least it does speak for a, a long-term commitment or a potential for a long-term commitment. But as we said with the Hermit, not many people are going to give you their blessings. And yet, you know, it's kind of advisable here that you kind of 
explore that opportunity rather than lightly passing it away just because you know you try to fit with the cumulative code of conduct yeah conduit if I uh, may express myself that way so ultimately for you Leo the topic of uh, this week is going to be you doing or you materializing a, a dream of yours that very well could be connected with uh, someone the next card which is the core of the situation or why this is happening we do have the devil card which is accompanied with the hierophant and that is a, a very kind of like peculiar combination we do have um, the traditions mixed with the yearning very superficially said so what I can make up from those couple of cards at least for you is a couple of things you either get to have you know what makes you happy and you either get to materialize the dream of yours it is because you did the necessary preparations and you laid down the necessary foundations in order to do so or you are to have it it is because this is the way that it is supposed to so literally this is what those uh, couple of cards are saying the devil card itself it does represent the yearning of, of, of one's soul or it kind of like the hunger that one has and this week itself um, is basically the end the end of the line where you eventually have to feed that hunger of yours so no matter what happens uh, at least according to these cards you know you are to get something that you very well want and that you are to feel exhilarated about now is it worth it that is a different uh, perspective how you can how you can see on the things because it, it may cost you some people as I said you know it may cost you your relationship it may cost you as well some friendships and this is where a, a certain decision needs to be made because when it comes to decision here the devil card kind of plays a, a very ominous role it does play the role of uh, one being kind of like afraid that one made the wrong choice after one made its choice so it's kind of like it could play the the fear deep down that you could have played your cards differently and had better yields uh, than those that you ultimately can have once you make your move here toward materializing one dream of yours and I when I say one dream of yours that doesn't mean the big dream being a rocket, sci rocket scientist or you know <clears throat> kind of like being a prince or a princess or getting rich overnight or etc etc it could be same, something very simple you know you have to look at practically at uh, those readings for example dream of yours um, we all have many dream of ours and we not we all don't get the biggest dream of ours to be uh, to be accomplished like I said that is to be a dream of yours how big dream of yours well that is kind of like it will be picked at random it is the best thing I can say so <clears throat> important things to be done here when we look at those couple of cards as the two approach the matter with a great great sense of uh, it's no responsibility it's uh, a, a great sense of of, tra of traditions if I may express myself that way so you should not try to be uh, as surreptitious or even brilliant about the performance you uh, you are to incorporate so to materialize that dream but you should keep it the kiss principle keep it simple and stupid and that will give you the most yields than you would usually uh, than you would usually get if you be much more sophisticated with uh, with your performance to in, to materialize that dream of yours the next card here which is the predicaments that you should uh, face uh, or that you are to face that will be the eight of pentacles accompanied with the six of cups and we can see really here the dirty work or it's not even the dirty work it is the volume of the work itself uh, you are to find that it is not very uh, very a a exhilarating and uh, 
enthralling itself the whole process of materializing that specific dream as a matter of fact with this couple of cards the very process that it is very dull it's gonna make you um, pissed off really and, and kind of like aggravated knowing that these simple steps are going to give you the uh, are going to materialize you know that yearning of yours uh, you would have think kind of like you know how could how could I have not figured that thing sooner than later and uh, the eight of pentacles here also uh, with the uh, six of cups points to a uh, simplicity the more simple you keep the things as we said you have to follow the traditions you know uh, the more simple uh, and already established patterns the more simple you keep your things and and your uh, your performance in general uh, is going to give uh, the best results uh, unfortunately with these couple of cards here not everything that you try to do is going to happen according to your expectations all right uh, some things are not just meant to happen the way you want them to and therefore uh, you may experience as well a little bit of a disappointment on that front however with these couple of cards the majority of um, of your expectations are to be met it is just is going to take some additional uh, efforts and toils on your behalf so um, so you can meet the majority as I said of your uh, expectations now if we're talking about relationship here however what the true predicament is going to be yeah let's say you are single you know and these cards truly signifies a person that it is a dream of yours so kind of like a person that it is dream of yours right someone that you find very very compatible with yourself and uh, you will find it very difficult to open toward that person for one or another reason and uh, by the look of those cards opening that way to that person uh, according to the circumstances you are facing it simply won't be your thing so you will have to overcome a certain barrier of, uh, of communications if you want to say it that way or empathizement for that matter in order to establish a, a, a solid form of interaction with this person so uh, uh, basically here you have to overcome um, with these cards you have to overcome the how can I place it the uncomfortable aspect of the pros and the cons that are a forming of uh, of one approach and unfoldment toward a, a specific situation then the next card that we do have this is the magician card which is the uh, guidance the tarot is offering and with the death card so what these uh, what these couple of cards are pointing toward you Leo is that you should consider all of your uh, when it comes to this uh, materializing here of a dream of yours all right not toward your entire life but toward the materializing of this dream again if that's a person you have to incorporate this guidance toward only singularity only singularly toward that person and not toward your friendships and not toward your career but only toward that guy so what these cards here are pointing that your methods that you usually adopt are kind of outdated the magician card does represents you learning new methods for example how to entrow someone how to establish a, a certain route for yourself um, <clears throat> or for that matter that could be an opportunity for you to make a private business so this these cards are pointing that you would you will find new ways how to establish that private business and in generally these cards are pointing here as a guidance that you should not be afraid to burn some bridges of old habits which are kind of outdated or of some old strategies for that matter which are quite outdated and instead of them to replace them with a great portion of their personal independence and as well be uh, quite determined to uh, to learn new and more innovative um, innovative excuse me uh, innovative methods and as well strategies for how to make your dreams come true because they definitely exist very important as well for those who are um, in a process of educating with these couple of cards is that you should seek for unconventional methods in order to gather up knowledge for example if you do have a certain exam 
to take in a couple of weeks. This week is going to be um, extremely potent for you guys to seek alternative sources like internet, encyclopedias and etc etc. The textbook should not be your only source of um, your only source of knowledge but you should expand you know your vision of where you should attract knowledge as well and lastly here you are to find you know the different uh, way of communicating with people and especially if this is a person here is gonna yield a much much better results than your usual way of communications so this was uh, the uh, explanations of the cards and their synergy and now a couple of examples. Let's go with the career example first. So if that is a materializing of a, a good project for you, that is to be here because you either make made some uh, well, some well found decisions back in the past you know completely narrowing and focusing that specific project and you also this part and you also did the right thing back then you know so um, so you can at least prove yourself capable to um, to push that project forward and as that project is about to be given to you again it's about to be given to you many colleagues of yours doesn't like that idea it's simply there is no one there to applaud you and the more you research about that project as this week is going to be all about researching as I said you are about to make your dream come true and to materialize it the more you are going to find out that actually what goes deeper than the shell of the project itself it doesn't look like as interesting as you thought it is and actually you are to discover that that thing uh, requires a lot of uh, a lot of work which you are finding very very disinteresting and something as a chore and from there you will have to a, adopt different habits and different in general routine for how you perform into your career here and that has to be as well very independent from others but yet it has to incorporate huge determination in there so you can make that project all successful if we're talking about relationship once again that could be a person coming in which in, in case you are in a relationship uh, your partner will spot it and it's not going to be very happy about it or a friends of yours are not going to be very happy about it that you have found such a guy or a girl for that matter but in generally uh, if that's your case then these cards here are pointing that that is something you have to definitely experience one way or another because it's going to teach you I a very um, <clears throat> solid lesson but what will be the the, the problem here is, is that the whole situation with this person and the whole communications and interactions there are going to go or, or going to develop very very slowly it is what we are seeing here you will have a difficult time to find a common ground although there will be a, a emotional connection it is just the habits you both have and the way you're doing things you both are going to be a uh, very different from one another and that's why here some of your habits are going you are to find that some of your habits are outdated or you have to change some of your habits if you want to make your dream comes true <clears throat> like i said dream of yours can come true i never said that it's going to be easy and it's going to happen on its own accord you can completely disregard this and go you know with your usual way and see what happens there but you can definitely throughout that week um, make something that you want become a, a reality so that was uh, the tarot reading for you Leos now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or uh, you should try to avoid All right, so the first card, this is going to be the gentleman and that literally is interpreted as a man. Then we do have the ship and the ship is about, is interpreted as something from afar, traveling, uh, adventure and as well taking on a risk. And the next one, this is going to be coffin and the coffin is associated with endings and generally can be interpreted with the car stop. So that could be, I uh, interpret in many ways, that could be interpreted that a uh, 
a male from afar is not going to come around. It's basically their traveling that you are maybe expecting is not going to happen. It could be as well interpreted that a male, a man, is going to put an end to a venture or is going to put an end to a risky move as well or they are going to stop stop ask, uh, acting risky or acting in a way that they are confusing you in many ways so <clears throat> that being said leo this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for january 7th to january 13 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was your general reading for leo star sign therefore it will resonate with you in a different levels and in a different way now, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me, just like I did for the examples in this video, uh, you have to go for a uh, personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.